And then, when we get our presents, we'd run back to our mother and daddy and see, see what I got, look at what I got. You know, we were just, that was the most exciting thing. You didn't get a whole bunch of things like our kids get now, you know. We got a bag of candy. Did you, like, did you sit on Santa's lap and tell him what you wanted for Christmas? Did no, you give him list? no, <laughs> no. Didn't get to do that. Um, <clears throat> Before Christmas, sometime, the dime store here in Hawatha would have a Santa Claus. And on Saturday night, we'd come to, and once in a while, I'd see Santa Claus. Didn't get seen, but I was just like your girls. I was scared to death of him. <laughs> I never was, I never wanted to go and see him. Till I got old enough, you know. I did, you know, I was very afraid of him, too. So Christmas Day, where did you? Then we went to one of my, one of my aunts. Or else we'd come to, our house was kind of a small house, so we didn't have Christmas. You didn't go to a grandparent's house? Um, not always. He lived here, and our grandparents lived. We well, don't have one grandparent here. You had Grandma Yukonal. Grandma Yukonal. We'd Grandpa go up there Derek. once in a while. Yes, we'd go to Grandma Yukonal's, and then we'd go to Grandpa Derek's once in a while. But see, he died when I was a freshman in high school, so after that we didn't. Go to his house, of course, because he died. Oh, but I'm talking about when you were a kid. Yeah. You we know. well, yeah. He was <coughs> so you go to an aunt or uncle's. Uncle, we went to Aunt Minnie and Uncle Virgil's a lot, uh, because they had a big house. And that's we where went, the all yeah, the family. Yeah, all my cousins. Uh huh. All my cousins. We always had. And so then, if you went to their house, who was that? Uncle Virgil. Uncle Virgil. Okay, so they're Derek. So that uh -huh. would be the Derek. Yeah, side. that would be my so mother's. My mother's side of family, and then my dad's side would be Aunt. Daisy, or Aunt Martha, Aunt Martha had a big house, and Grandma had a pretty good So you house. didn't go to both? Oh no, we just went one, one house, or the other. on Christmas, on Christmas, mm -hmm. So like one year it might be one, and the next year uh -huh. might be the other right. one? Right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Well, we did. I can't remember ever having Christmas at our house, because we had two small houses. We so you get up in the morning, did you have your own Christmas with your mom and dad at your Oh yeah, house? well, no. Did Santa Claus Santa come Claus. to your house? Yeah. Oh yeah, Santa Claus came. And, and, and we had a tree, but you know, there really pre weren't presents under the tree too much. We, what we did was, we set, mother and daddy set the table and we had plates. We, they put plates, that's how we did. And I, in the morning, I'd come to my place where I always sat at the table, and there would be a place. There would be a candy, hard candy, an orange, and a present. At the table. At the table. Instead of under the tree, it would be a wrap present. But we had always hard candy, and orange, and one present. And my sister had the same thing, and my brother had the same thing. That's all they could afford. But we thought it was the most wonderful thing we could have ever had in our lives. I remember my sister got a pair of red earrings when her she was just what she wanted. All she wanted was a pair of red earrings. And they cost a dime. My ever shop cost a dime. And that orange probably they cost I don't know. I don't know what they cost, but that was a wonderful, wonderful thing. So you'd eat and you'd have your breakfast and then you'd go. Then we, well, to then we'd go to somebody's house. Yes, we did have a car. <laughs> we'd go to somebody's house and if it was church day, we went to church. What do you mean church day? If, if, if it was Sunday, Sunday if Christmas came on on Sunday, we had our Christmas exchange, had breakfast, and then went to church, and then we went to dinner. Did you, when you were a kid, did you go to church every Sunday? Oh, absolutely, every Sunday. Didn't even think about going. And every Sunday night, I went to Ephesus League. To what? It's called Ephesus League. It's the youth, the young people's uh, thing. Every Sunday night, I went. And yeah. and when I got older, you know, was dating age, and I'd have a date. I could never go. I could never go to, on a date unless I went to Ephesus League first. And my folks would tell me, if you're if you're that boy wants to go to Ephesus League with you, you can do that. But you can't go to a movie until you've gone to Ephesus League, and then he can pick you up and go to the show. Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, we lived a very sheltered life. We really did live a very sheltered life. And then when I was in eighth graders, when we moved away from that house, and we moved about a quarter mile from the Zion Church, south of there. Is that the church you always went to? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and we did have a wind charger there. A what? A wind charger. That's the thing you put on top of the house and blow and made charge. electricity. And we had one bulb and a radio that ran off of that. What happened when the wind wasn't blowing? Well, we didn't have any electricity. It only worked when the wind mm -hmm. was blowing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And it, it built up. It was kind of like a, a, uh, oh. uh, what do you call those? Uh, <laughs> generator. It, was, it would build up. It would build up a battery. Is what it was. It would build up, charge a battery. It was a wind Wonderful. charger. What year were you born? Twenty-six. Okay. So this was. So I, the 1940. 1940 is when we moved to that other house. And then in that house, we just had a kitchen, living room, bedroom on the first floor, and two bedrooms upstairs. It was even a smaller house. Why did you move to a smaller house? Well, he had a better. Why did you move in the first place? A bigger farm. A, a bigger farm, but a smaller house. Oh yeah. And did he own that? No, no, no. Then this time it was Paul Moore. He had, but he didn't like it very well. And then we didn't live there but about uh, two years maybe. And we moved to Highland. But see, at that place is where I went. To, I was uh, an <coughs> eighth grader when we moved, and so I was a freshman. Well, I think I finished eighth grade. I finished eighth grade there. And we had to, went back to Heckler. And then the next year I went to freshman. I was freshman in White Cloud. And Don Kelliker lived two miles north of us, and he drove a car, and so I drove, I went back and forth with him. To he was school. your cousin? He was my cousin. And I guess my folks took my took me over to Kelliker's, and then I rode with him. And then a lot of times when we came home, I'd have to walk home from at night. But, and sometimes he'd bring me home. But... Um, I went two years there, and then my folks moved to Highland, out in the country. Back to school, you said you, you started school at 8 o'clock in the morning. When did you finish? When did you get out? What time of day? Four o'clock. Four o'clock? A long day. Yeah, well, yeah. We, I, we got to school at 8 and probably 8.30. No, uh, I think we started at 9, but we always went to play. We had ball. We, we always could play on the playground, see. So we went to, and we played. For we, if we got there at eight, but in the winter time we play bingo or inside games. We play. We had. Games. But you got out of school in April. Huh? Mm -hmm. I didn't start until after September, Labor Day. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And the, <clears throat> we always had a last day of school dinner. All the parents would come and they bring food and we have a big, 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 big dinner. <clears throat> What about lunch at school? Did you have to bring your own mm -hmm. lunch? Yeah. Okay. Peanut, butter, peanut butter sandwiches most of the time. We had pressed chicken. So your mom had to fix lunches for yes, four kids for four every kids. day. Every day. Every day, even though on worst day. I never fixed our lunches. She did. And mm -hmm. We had cookies. She had baked cookies. And um, some of the kids had lunch meat. I never had lunch meat. We couldn't afford lunch meat. But there were some kids that could afford lunch meat. They just had a little bit more money or else their folks just spent it more. Yeah. Now your brothers and sisters were all around. How, how much older was, Dwight was the oldest, how yeah. much older was he? He was four years older than me. Connie was three years older. Actually he was, here he was, 14 months later she was born. Three years later, I was born, and 14 months later, Clyde was born. So, my two older brothers and sister are 14 months apart, and Clyde and I are 14 months apart, exactly. And then Connie and I are three years apart. So, <coughs> so you had you had high school graduations. Uh -huh. Nothing to high school, now you had high school graduations. But I by that time, you were in you went to school in Highland. Highland, uh huh. But you, and you were living in Highland then. Now, Not in Highland, but three miles out of Highland. No, my folks didn't move until after we were married. Oh, oh. They still lived out on the farm when we got married. So they just lived in two houses? They lived in one, two... Well, I mean, before they moved to Highland. So they just lived where you lived when you were little, and then when you were in eighth grade, you moved? Mm-hmm. And that's where they moved, lived until after you were married, then they moved to that house, the, that green Four house. houses is all they ever, ever lived in. The first one, now? the second one, Highland, and then in Highland. They moved, they bought that house in Highland. So they finally bought a house? Yeah. 
Don't you remember that house? Yeah, that's the yeah. only house I do okay, remember. Okay, I thought you wouldn't yeah. remember that. Yeah, but I don't remember him. Um, what did he do then? When, how old was he? He was retired then. He, he okay. moved, they retired. So he didn't work when he lived there. No, but then he did get a job with the Port of Entry, and he loved it. Port of Entry? Port of Entry over at Elwood. That's where uh, they, Kansas used to have a Port of Entry, and mm -hmm. all truck, trucks had to stop mm -hmm. there and show their credentials. And I think way, it was no, it wasn't a way station. It was a port of entry. And it, you know, the, it was a port to enter into Kansas. All trucks had to stop. Now, if they went to Missouri, they didn't have to stop. But when they came from Missouri into Kansas, they had to stop. And my dad was retired, and he, and he got this job, and he just loved it. He just loved it. Completely different than from farming, you know. And he got to talk to these truckers. And he, they, he just was intrigued by their lives. Hmm. He was intrigued. Hmm. So tell me about your grandparents. The only grandparents you really knew was Grandpa Derek and Grandma Yukonon. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, what do you Grand remember about them? Did you go to their house when you were a little kid? Oh, yeah. And... Every Saturday, or every time we came to Hiawatha, they both lived in Hiawatha. And every time we came to Hawatha, we went to their house. Either we went to Grandma uh, Yukino's house, or we went to Grandpa David's house. But we couldn't you go to him Grandpa both. David? No, we called him Grandpa Derek. That's what we called him, Grandpa Derek. And we called her Grandma Yukino. <laughs> and um, uh, she just, I, I, when I, as a little girl, I liked her real well. She was a good grandma. But as older I got, more critical she was. She was very, very critical of all of us because we were getting more worldly and she didn't like that getting worldly. <laughs> I can remember one time I had a pair of, they were called, they were called um, I'm thinking they were called culottes, but I'm not sure. They had bib, they had a bib, and then they were pants and they came to the knees or just below the knees. She thought that was sinful. She thought that was a sinful way to dress. And she let me know right away. And it made my mother mad, too, because my mother bought them for me, and she liked them, you know. My mother and her did not really see eye to eye together too much. Anyway, so that was mother's mother-in-law, you know. So <laughs> anyway, you know, she was just critical of things. If I, if I had curly hair. I had a new permanent. That was getting to be a floozy, you know, <laughs> as, far, as far as grandma was concerned. That was being a floozy. And she made sarcastic remarks to us. All of us. I mean, Aunt Lois, my sister, see? It was only Lois and my sister and I were the only girls in the family, all the way the boy. So anyway, but Grandpa Derek wasn't like that. He was a fun guy. But he couldn't walk very well. He sat in his rocking chair, rocked in his rocking chair. And then when he got up, he'd have to rock real hard, real hard, and then the rock would push him out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so what was he like? He was a fun guy. Or he just sat in his chair all the time. It seemed like the Derricks were more Yeah, they were laughing. Clown yeah, clown. they were. Yeah, they were. They had a good time, and he laughed. He laughed a lot. Yeah, they all gathered at their house a lot. Mm -hmm. So were the, what were the the Mensons? They were more straight laced or the more Grandpa, your dad's Grandpa Minson's brothers and sisters. Well, Aunt Daisy was a lot of fun, and my dad was a lot of fun. They had kids, but Aunt Martha was an old fuddy daddy because she had no kids. Why'd you go to her house on Christmas then? You, you were hung because, around her a lot. Because, yeah, because she had a big house and she invited <laughs> Oh, because she had a room. Yeah, she, uh -huh, she did. And it made her, nobody and, liked her. No, nobody liked her. And she was kind of an outcast, but you know, once in a while we would. She would come. Aunt <clears throat> Martha would ask her and Aunt Daisy. But my mother would never ask her. They didn't like each other at all. Uh, when your, my mother, mother, your mother and Maida didn't like mm, each other. Mm, but I tend to. Then why was that. she around? Like Connie said, she delivered her. No, she said she delivered her. She yeah. was, or didn't deliver, but she was there. Okay. To deliver okay. Her. Now my mother and dad were married, and and he he worked for somebody. He did not start. Farming. I don't think he started farming right away. Uh, maybe he did, but um, they, um, you know, they started out. 
housekeeping and they didn't have a thing. He probably had to borrow money to buy horses, to buy a, a She had two, money? Maida had money? Aunt Maida had money. I don't know how she did, but she did. Well, so what, she married money or what? She, no, she, so she didn't get married no, until she, later. No, she wasn't married. But she worked. She was the oldest one in the family, yeah. and she was people's hired girl. And she made money. She was a lot older than Daddy, so, she, you know, she'd been working. She had some money to loan, so Daddy borrowed money. Well, that was the worst thing they could have done. Because when the town comes, she thought they needed to pay her back. She wanted her money, and they didn't have it. And she wanted her money, and they didn't have it. And my mother told her to get off of his back, get off, and you know, they had words, and so that's what happened. They just fell out. And that happened to so many families because one would have money and the other wouldn't, and they'd borrow from somebody in the family. That was the worst thing anybody could do, but that's what they had to do. They had to do that. And, um, but a lot of families fell out for those same reasons. And that's what, and my mother would not take it. She was ridiculing daddy an awful lot, and so she, mother wouldn't have it, and so they fell out over that. So they didn't have anything to do with each other for a long time. They finally, well, I mean, they finally spoke, but they never were, no, they were never afraid, ever. When did she die? And made, I don't know, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't remember her at all. No, she never died before you came in. But Henry you liked? Henry oh, was, he was wonderful. He didn't live around here. He didn't have any kids. Now, no, and the strange thing about it now, well, I, I know what he did. He was the youngest one in the family, and um, Grandma, you can know, Grandpa, Grandpa Minson died. And, Your and, Grandpa. Grandpa, and they lived down around Joplin, Missouri, someplace down there. They lived at Golden. Golden City, Golden Missouri. Golden City, Missouri. And he died. So then Daddy had to drop out of grade school, mind you, and do the farming. And George, his oldest older brother, had to do the same thing with their, his brother died George when he died. was 17. So Daddy had to do the work. Well, so then Grandma was kind of hard on Daddy, too. And so he decided, one of the Kellickers, moved up here to Brown County. Dad, and they said, boy, it's good up here in Brown County, a lot better up here than it is down there in Missouri, in those clay hill, clay bottoms. So Daddy came up here, and so did Aunt, so did Aunt, uh, Aunt Martha came, and Aunt Maida came. And then, Before their mother And came? then eventually Gram Grandma came. So Grandma, I don't know where she moved, she moved into White Cloud, and this is where she met this Flory. And she married old man Flory. Okay, she was married to an old man Flory. They all call him old man Flory. And and Henry was a young boy. He was a young boy, and he did not like Flory at all. Well, none of them did. No. So there was a farm, a, a drug druggist over there by the name of Somme Bevan. Bevan was his name. Bevan. B e v a n. And he hired Uncle Henry. And Uncle Henry worked for him in that drink store. Well, he then moved in with him. He didn't couldn't stand Mr. Old Man Flory, so he moved in with the Bevins, and so he was like their son. Well, guess what? They sent him to pharmacy school at KU. Uncle Henry went to KU. He was the only one that finished high school. Of all of those kids, he finished high school, and then he went to KU, and he became a pharmacist. When he was a pharmacist. So you see, he became moneyed. I mean, to the rest of them, it was really money. And he went to Junction City and he worked for Eisenhower, uh, Milton Eisenhower, <laughs> owned, owned the drugstore. And he worked for Eisenhower Drugstore for years and years until Eisenhower died and Uncle Henry bought the store. Then he changed it to the Milton Drugstore. And then he died. He died. I never had any kids. No. He was about 50 when he died. That's, that's, I heard that, that Grandpa Minson, your dad, left because his mom had married this old man Flurry, well, and he been. left at the age of 15. He moved out 
to be a, a hired hand on other farms. But that may, they, maybe they did marry down there in Junction City. He left Junction City. Not Junction City. I mean, I mean, Golden, no, Golden City. City. That could be. I didn't know where he, where she met Flora. Yeah, I thought that was then there. Then she in met old man Flora, and she ended up in White Cloud, or came up here. Because yeah. Uncle Henry still lived at home. He was a young little boy. Well, he was the youngest. Yeah. yeah. Was but Aunt Daisy kids. told me that none of the kids liked him, uh -huh. and that's why they moved out. Yeah, that's right. And I thought but Grandpa Minson was like 15 at the time, and he moved out Good then, man. too, because he helped on other farms. He got yeah. jobs. Yeah, he was hard farms. man for people. He was hard man for a long time. I'm surprised his mom would let him do that, but I guess he had to for money. Huh? Uh -huh. I suppose.